Hey, it's Whitetail Hunter coming out here from the Rock and Bee. It's September 11th. Uh, quick update. The other day when we were working at the holding wall back there and I was trying to uh, get that food plot that was completely dead, dry dirt, uh, I got all my seed down, my, my uh, cereal rye and uh, oats. I'm going to put some winter wheat in there. We got all of our... Uh, Urea down 400 pounds on all of our big and beastie. That's uh, still holding on on life support. I ringed this clover field down here in my bottom with big and beastie. And uh, it was pretty yellow. It's still just a little bit yellow. But the rain's pulling the green out of it. And I don't expect a whole bunch of growth until maybe uh, next week when it gets into the 80s. I hope these babies jump up maybe get to knee high or something. I do got some turnips on the other side. I was trying to make a video with my phone, but being it's raining, it uh, hit my phone and keeps resetting. So I guess this is bad timing. It wasn't raining when I walked down here. But uh, this clover plot is great. You see some grass in here, that's no problem. I'll hit it with some Post Plus for the co-op and wipe it out. I really don't want it to be mowing it. I mowed it the first week of August. It's getting long. It's going to be a bad winter. I'm going to let it grow. And deer got beds over here in it. They're in here 24-7. I'll change out my Crush 360 card today as long as I'm down here. <clears throat> and... Uh, this is like an acre here that I'm standing on of clover. And then uh, I cleared this out where my buddy Rick did with a D6. It was all trees and brush and snaggled up stuff. And there was four foot holes. And I got her drug out and disc out and filled in with a tractor. Planted it with uh, big and beastie and some uh, winter peas. And this plot was on life support too. It was pretty yellow, stunted. This is probably some of the best soil on my property in this bottom down by the creek. And uh, the turnips are doing good now with this rain. The big and beasties coming up. So I'm expecting next week when the temperatures hit the 80s and we get a little more rain tomorrow. Who knows? I got the 400 pounds of urea down all, all this stuff. Be nice to come down here and have these knee high and turn this year around. It's been quite a fight. This hill going up toward my ranch house is pretty big. I don't know if it's over an acre, I can't remember what it I measured it at, but that whole hill coming all the way down from the house up there. I put in uh well, I cleared it with the D6. Got her, saws out all the roots off I could get. Bush hogged it. Uh, then I uh, round up the whole hill. Like twice. And then I just broadcast uh, alpha rack from the top all the way down here. Left a grassy area in here for the deer to be able to kind of hide out in. That's a big area, alpha rack to the top, chicory, clover, and alfalfa. It came up, it started coming up really good and uh, had a pretty good base of it. And then the grass started coming back in. So I hit it with Post Plus here about a week ago. Uh, and then I reseeded it with some alpha rack all the way down to here again. And now we got this rain. That stuff should be germinating that stuff back my water tank by the tripod blind that I put that new water tank in. That was, you know, germinated in just a couple of days. We had a light rain. Anyway, so, uh, you know, I didn't do no fancy disking and putting it an inch deep and all that other stuff. I killed off the grass and broadcast it in. That stuff wants to grow. If you ever lived in the city, you can't get rid of clover. So I don't know. I think sometimes you can go overboard trying to get your fields ready, but I guess that's whatever you want to do. <clears throat> anyway, it's starting to rain harder, and I'm starting to get a little bit damp. 
So I think I'm gonna hump it up here to the ranch house and get me a cup of coffee and stare out the window. I had uh, nine deer just stand here eating in this chicory and clover for my dining room table that I put in. You gotta love that out here in the country, man. And then eight more turkeys walked up behind them and they all ate together. Made me hungry, so I made a sandwich. <laughs> anyway, we're getting out of this rain here tomorrow. Hopefully this rain could have saved some of you guys' food plots. I hope you guys got some urea on there before the rain. If you didn't, shame on you. <clears throat> but uh, I'll follow up on them plots and uh, see if we pop anything back there in the hole in the wall and see if that uh, wired in brassica plot takes off better. For now, this Iowa Whitetail Hunter, get ready for hunting season, buddy. It's coming.